The formation of cave formations like stalactites and stalagmites is a fascinating process that involves the interplay of geological and chemical factors. These formations are typically found in caves where water interacts with soluble rock, such as limestone, and the process is driven by the principles of precipitation and dissolution. Here's a breakdown of the science behind the formation of stalactites and stalagmites. Formation of stalactites Water infiltration The process begins when rainwater or groundwater containing dissolved calcium carbonate, CACO3, infiltrates the cave through cracks or fractures in the rock. Dissolution of limestone As the water percolates through the limestone or other soluble rock, it dissolves small amounts of calcium carbonate. This dissolution occurs because carbon dioxide in the water forms a weak acid, carbonic acid, when it reacts with limestone. Transport of dissolved minerals the dissolved calcium carbonate is carried by the water and transported through the cave's ceiling. Evaporation and precipitation. When the water droplets containing dissolved minerals reach the cave ceiling, they are exposed to air. As the water evaporates, the concentration of dissolved minerals increases, leading to the precipitation of calcium carbonate. Accretion and stalactite growth. Over time, the precipitation of calcium carbonate results in the growth of a stalactite, which is an icicle-shaped formation hanging from the cave ceiling. The process is gradual, with successive layers of mineral deposits building up over the stalactite. Formation of stalagmites Dripping water Water droplets containing dissolved calcium carbonate continue to fall from the tips of stalactites to the cave floor. Evaporation and precipitation on the cave floor As the droplets fall and reach the cave floor, they are exposed to air, leading to evaporation. This evaporation causes the precipitation of calcium carbonate on the cave floor. Accretion and stalagmite growth. Over time, the accumulation of calcium carbonate deposits on the cave floor forms a stalagmite. Like stalactites, stalagmites grow gradually as layers of mineral deposits build up. Factors influencing formation. Calcite saturation. The degree of calcite, calcium carbonate, saturation in the water affects the rate of stalactite and stalagmite growth. Supersaturation, where the water holds more dissolved minerals than it can maintain, leads to the precipitation of calcite. Temperature and humidity. Factors such as temperature and humidity in the cave influence the rate of evaporation, affecting the pace of mineral deposition. Higher humidity can slow down evaporation, allowing more minerals to be deposited. Cave Geometry The shape and structure of the cave influence the patterns of water flow and the locations where stalactites and stalagmites may form. Time Stalactites and stalagmites form over extended periods, often taking thousands to hundreds of thousands of years to reach significant sizes. The beauty of stalactites and stalagmites lies in the slow and intricate dance between water, dissolved minerals, and the geological features of the cave environment. As water drips and evaporates, the intricate formations take shape, creating stunning displays in cave systems around the world. 